In this problem, we're going to write the sine of 15 degrees times the cosine of 15 degrees as a single number or a single trig function. Solution. So whenever you have a sine times a cosine, a common identity that you can use is sine 2x equals 2 sine x cosine x. Because you see here you have a sine function and you also have a cosine function. That's what we have here. We have a sine and we have a cosine. The only thing we have here is this extra 2. So what we'll do is we'll divide both sides by the 2. So now these go away and so we're left with sine cosine. So I'll write it over here. Sine cosine. And that's equal to sine 2x over 2. But we can write that as 1 half sine 2x. Now we're good to go. All we have to do now is replace all of the x's with 15 degrees. So sine of 15 degrees times cosine of 15 degrees is equal to 1 half sine of 2 times 15 degrees. This is equal to 1 half and then 2 times 15 is 30. So sine of 30 degrees. And sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. That's just from memory. It's really important to have these values memorized. So 1 half times 1 half and so the answer is just one-fourth. So again, whenever you see a sine times a cosine, um, it's a good idea to think of this, this identity here. That's it. I hope that made sense.